Okay, I want to be very clear about what I meant when I called the Jordan Bilbo case a facade. I'm going to read you the definition. A facade is an outward appearance that is maintained to conceal a less pleasant or credible identity. Some synonyms are show, front, veil, etc. So it's basically a front or outer appearance, especially a deceptive one. When I say that, I am not talking about the death. I do believe, from calling the coroner's office myself when this first came out, that he is dead. He was identified by his fingerprints. So my heart wholeheartedly goes out to the family. I myself have a little brother by the name of Jordan, who is 23 years old, and I couldn't imagine the pain that they would be going through for the past week or basically since Halloween. The reason why I feel like things aren't right is not about the fact that he's dead. I want to be clear that I'm not calling this a hoax and I'm not calling this a psyop and I'm not calling his death fake. What I'm calling it is a facade and the reason being is because I feel like every other aspect of this case is not clear. We know who is dead, but we don't know really where, why, how, and everything else. So I'm going to start going into, because there's also a lot of confusion about the family and whatnot, and um, with the utmost respect, I'm going to be getting into what I have found that could help clear a few questions up for other people and um, also give you an idea of where to go yourself to do your own research. So we're going to start with, um, you know what, let's start with the obituary, shall we? Okay, this is uh, one of the pages. You could find it on um, the Funeral Homes website, just at the top. And it basically had, there was two pages of this, and it, it lets you know what was written in on the um, um, obituary. I highlighted the parts that I'm going to be really getting into in this video. It says, survivors include his parents. I don't want to mispronounce that name. It looks like um, CEO, uh, nicknamed Zelly Como of Houston, Texas. And then down at the bottom, it says, um, Jordan was preceded in death by his maternal grandfather, Theron Sterling. And the reason why I highlighted that as well is to let you know that the her mother, his mother's name is right there. So her parents were Theron Sterling and then um, Mary Como was his um, grandmother, as you could see in the, the middle of this. So that's that's that. Now, keeping that in mind, we are about to get into a web of um, confusion, and I'm going to try to clear up as much as I can along the way. Now, keeping in mind that the mother's name, actually, let's go right back to this. The mother's name says that her last name is a Como on the official obituary, but then it also says that the... Um, grandfather's name, the mom's father, his last name is Sterling. So when I was searching, I made sure I tried various sites, not just one, and I tried the last name both ways, and I would come up with the same results. The mother's birthday is September 1st, 1975. Here's another site. As you could see, 9175, with the last name one way, the last name another way. So that being said, we could say for sure that the mom is born in 75. That would make her 42 years old. Now, keeping that in mind, we're going to go, we're going to, let's just, let's just start with Twitter. Um, I, from, I remember exactly what day it was. Maybe that was like around the 5th. Um, I started searching and searching and searching for Jordan Bilbo and I came across, you know, various, some various things. Google's totally changed what you find in the research results now. But I was able to come across this Twitter page.
page. And at first I wasn't even sure that it had anything to do with Jordan because of the fact that it says officially a sophomore in 2010. I wasn't sure if that was the right math. I don't think that's the right math. But I found it, you know, interesting because if you click on this and you want to know who liked it, all of these posts, there was only four on this Twitter, were liked by this person. That's me at the top. That's my boy Huggy right there. We've been pretty much working on this at the same time, trying to figure this out. And then there's this person, whoever this is, that liked all of this uh, this page's um, tweets. So let's look a little bit more um, intently at this. Now, the first thing, as soon as you come on, came on to this back then, um, she had she said, I miss my son already. Already some, seemed odd to me if he was dead, but, I, you know, I didn't think much, too much of it. Um, this is where it gets kind of interesting, though. There's a new tweet, actually, today. It says, I can't, God help me, and when you go on to it. Someone says, what's going on, sis? If that is or isn't her sister, if her son just died, you would think that it would be obvious. Somebody wouldn't have to ask what's going on. But this person, this event-driven, if you guys haven't seen Huggy Pacino's uh, YouTube video about, <laughs> about this guy, I really highly suggest that you check it out because it's just a joke. So this page... Whoever this is, they, they tweet so much and so often. Also, I found it very interesting that when you go to the likes, it tells you not only w what they liked, but you could notice the dates. So let's just scroll down here. She was liking something in 2017, 11, 1, 2017. Then she liked the Jordan Bilbo tweets, which means that she literally found out that he was dead and started going onto Twitter and found any and everything that has to do with Jordan and started to like it. None of those posts were liked prior to his death. This person found out he was dead and started to like every single tweet that had to do with him. This person... Waves on Slim said, shout out to my little cousin, Jordan Bilbo. More than one time. Okay, clearly, that's Jordan's cousin. But what this person did, whoever this person is, and I'm going to get into why I feel strongly that this is not Jordan's mom. She says to this event-driven guy back on the 7th, um, tweet me on my other page she was telling him well the other page is um jordan's mom not him so i was like okay that's kind of weird you know she, oh, she has another twitter i guess and dedicated to him but then when you go to it she literally just she just made it on the seventh on the seventh that was the day that she made it so that it would have no affiliation or correlation to her other Twitter. Now she's talking to people on this and she's, you know, supposed to, it's all, it's, it's a brand new, um, I don't know what she's saying as far as like that guy goes, but it's the, the, the whole thing is just another here. Let me, let me point something else out. She's tweeting all these people that are like YouTubers and and everything else. But that guy that is Jordan's cousin, that she liked his status, and she tweets too much for me to find it, so let me just go to my photos. Um, Remember this guy? Waves on Slim? The guy that she had liked the status because he had was talking about Jordan a couple years ago. Uh, she must have forgot. She must have forgot that she liked that status because he says, Zella, DM, cuz. Now, we already have confirmed that, that Zella is one of the moms, you know, even on the obituary, Zella or Zelly is in, um, you know, parentheses. So that's her, 
her nickname or what she goes by. You know what this person says? Who is this? That's odd, don't you think? I mean, you had already liked that person's status. You're talking about who you say is your son. But you don't know who this is? Hmm. I'm going to get a little bit deeper. Like I said, this person tweets way too much. So I'm just going to go over. I took some screenshots of some of these tweets. Um, and, and you guys could tell me what you what you think about this. This is the original page. Mind you, nobody even knew about the Jordy's mommy or in Jordan's mom page because she just made it on the on the seventh. So these are things that she was tweeting, whoever this was uh, or whoever this is, that's also controlling the Jordan's mom account. She says back in um, October 22nd, um, I need a huge favor regarding my son and the county. Can you DM me? And she sends that to Paul Wall. It's a certified account for those of you who don't know who Paul, you know, Paul Wall, the rapper, whatever he is. So what? I, I don't understand why she would say that. And why back then was she asking for a huge favor regarding her son? And then we get into this weird conversation with whoever um, OGB Johnson is. I don't remember how it starts. She says, he says, like, I need to shave. She says, I couldn't help myself, childish. And he says, yeah, you can't be a granny yet. She says, I don't think I'll ever be that grown or mature. Their mom would hate me and tell everyone, including my son, how I'm not shit. Okay, that's a very odd statement to say about having <laughs> a grandchild, but whatever. Um... And then the person says, I don't think the relationship is real. If someone doesn't like their in-laws, she says, all their moms and dads think I'm still the one. And I'm like 60 now. Now, I just got done proving to you how old Jordan's mom is, according to the obituary. So that's more of the same thing. Um, she says it again. She's like, see, and I'm like 60 now. I'm, yeah, I'm like 60 now. So um, she's also reaching out back to whoever this is. Someone else on um, 10 6. This is Jordan's mom. I need to talk to you. I don't know what was going on in October with her son that she keeps reaching out to these people claiming that she needs to speak to them. Um, this I found interesting because if you go to this tweet between this this youtuber and, and jordan's mom um this youtuber had put up a video and she put up the wrong jordan i'm going to explain why um authentic epic boom was confused because it is very confusing and if you didn't really pay attention to the profiles i mean it could easily i mean i guess it could be i don't think that they really look alike but i i guess it, it could be very confusing so you know um authentic apologizes and and she asks you know changes or edits the video and um, I don't know why his mom is so, you know, busy with YouTube in the first place when she, I would, you would imagine that would be the last of, of her concerns. But, but that's the point is that she went out of her way to tell this YouTuber that the pictures that she had put up were not of her son. You have pictures of another Jordan. She didn't say of a relative or anything else, but another Jordan. Now keep that in mind. I'm going to get into that. This is that again, where she's doesn't know who this relative is, which I thought was really weird. Okay, so keeping all of that in mind, now we're going to get into the Facebook profiles. Before we go into the Facebook profiles, though, I really just need to point this out. This is another part of their conversation between the YouTuber and, and Jordy's mom. Uh, apparently, she asks, I hope it's not comma too much to ask is it possible to see jordan obituary and the reply was i prefer to leave that part of his death private but i heard some disrespectful people have posted it online disrespectful people as in the funeral home what what no no, the funeral home posted it, which you would have had to have consented to if you were his mother. But you know that already, though, right? Anyways, 
let's get into the whole Jordan Bilbo, Jordan Bilbo uh, ordeal. Um, when you go on Facebook and you search for Jordan Bilbo, you're going to come across two accounts. We're going to come across a few. There's only two that are confusing. There's this one. This is a guy that is, um, oh, I, I also do believe that he has been killed and who had the funeral. These are the family members I have already in my last video shown you. I've done the background checks and everything. These are his family, friends. There's not a lot on this page at all, but you do get an idea of at least what he looks like and whatnot. Now, there's also this Jordan Bilbo. Also an athlete. Same name. Same city. Same state. Kind of weird, right? But what's really weird is this. Do you guys recognize? You guys recognize do? Do you? You should. I put him in my last video. He is... Let's see. Layla Marie's son. You remember who Layla Marie is? That's that's the aunt of Jordan, the Jordan that supposedly just passed away. She's also the mother of Leonard Du Lambert. Let that sink in for a minute. The aunt of the Jordan that just passed away, her dead son is on the Facebook page of this guy. It was his profile picture actually twice. Kind of weird, isn't it? Let's talk about some other weird things. This guy's social media presence died in 2015. He had what tweets, I, I mean, if that other Twitter that I originally had found, I believe was his, because this guy's supposed to be two years younger, so that would match up. Um, not only can you not find him on Facebook, you, he had a YouTube, and that YouTube, you can only find like the link for it, but the page has been deleted. Um, his tw you can't find him online. As far as online goes, he's he's gone. I don't know who this guy is. I hope he's okay. But we're going to get into how, just how weird all of this is. It's like everything is morphed together. This lady says, that's my profile pic too. I'll change it later. Let's check her out. Uh, some lady, what's her profile? What's her cover photo? Oh, my 60th, happy 60th birthday to my beautiful mother. Huh. Well, you know who else? 60. I'm not saying that she's controlling the original Twitter account. I'm just saying this is a 60-year-old. Not who Jordan's mom is supposed to be. But when you go onto her page, okay, you're going to see pictures, whatever. She also stopped posting around the same time that the Jordan that she's related to. Let's go into her about. She goes on to say um, that her full name is Linda Marie Bilbo, which is important because I've made it that much easier for me to really be able to do background check and research her. Uh, now, these are supposed to be her family members. The Jordan in, that she had on her page, is the, it says that that's her grandson. That, that's what that says. But let's look at some of the other family members. Let's start with this Angel. Angel Barnes Taylor. Okay, that's a family member, right? That's what it says. Um, you'll notice on here, she knows she... She's posted, or she posted that picture November 5th and... October, whatever, you know, she, she hasn't, you're not saying too much or whatever. 
Nothing really seems alarming there. Until we go on to uh, Layla Marie. Gonna visit her page once again. And she's the only one I brought up in my last video. I actually had a good feeling that, you know, at least she was talking about um, Jordan. And, you know, that's his aunt. Remember, I showed this. I showed this post. Well, since then, she wrote this. And then she, you know, this was when she was actually going to the funeral. Okay. And in this post, she says, you know, preparing to say farewell to your loved ones is never easy. And, you know, clearly that was the day of the funeral. Let's read the comments. Oh, look at that. It's Angel Barnes Taylor. And not only is it her, she says, I love you, sis. Praying for our family. R.I.P. Lil Cuz. Huh. So you mean to tell me that that's your cousin, and but you, I mean, didn't care enough. I, I mean, even if you didn't go to the funeral or anything else, like, I don't understand why nobody in this family really has posted. I mean, and even her, the one person that did post about going to the funeral, that same exact day, she's posting about football scores, like... It, 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 all of this is just very, very, very odd to me. Um, if you go deeper, you're, you're going to see connection after connection after connection with this family and the other family. Yet everybody related to Jordan, this is the Jordan that passed away, not his photos, let's go to his friends. Let's go to his friends and let's go to Bilbo so that we, you know, go to some of his relatives. Let's go to his sister. Has she said anything about her brother being dead? No. No. The stepmom. Mm, wow, no, they they're too busy living it up. I guess wait, not not no condolence, no nothing, no nothing, nothing, huh? These names are on the obituary, so I'm not reaching here. They're on the obituary. These are his relatives. She is married to Jordan's. Father. Let's not forget this lady. This, uh, is it Jerry Braxton? A lot of people were assuming at first because they were, she had, was the first one I think that uploaded that picture of him and his mom in the, on, as her profile picture. Um, this is a picture of her from the funeral, and I was really disturbed at the fact that she's taking a selfie and smiling. It just kind of seems inappropriate. Um, just seems weird. Now, I really want to say that I mean absolutely no disrespect to this family and the people that I've mentioned in this video because I understand that they did lose someone. But you also have to take into consideration that when we have Raven Brown coming out claiming that it's a friend's boyfriend's murder. And that's how we find out about this. And the people that are listed in the obituary, their profiles on Facebook and you know social media are non-existent when it comes to Jordan. It's reasons like that that make people assume that it could be a hoax. I don't believe that that's true. I believe that Jordan is dead. But you can't really get mad at the world for assuming maybe something isn't true and getting confused when people seem to be intertwined. I also am very concerned about this guy and I just want to know that he's okay. Alive and well. Because both of these Jordan Bobos from Lake Charles, Louisiana just seem to be gone. There's a lot more I could have went into 
lot more of the family deeper, but I didn't want to go there um, if it wasn't really necessary. So that's all that I have for now, and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks.